I'm doing it. I'm making my Aunt Maria's almond cookies. <laughs> Got three hours until bedtime. It calls for four cups of flour. So I don't know how many cookies it's gonna make, but I think I'm gonna be making a lot. I've boiled some almonds for a couple seconds to be able to get the skins off. That's for an almond on top of the cookie. And then I'm also toasting the almonds that will go inside. And I'm working on my dough, but a little bit of a process. I have an almond on each and some egg whites that's gonna go in the oven for 20 minutes. So these are gonna take quite a while because I've got all of that left. I boiled these for no more than 30 seconds and look how easy they squirt out. And they're not, they weren't hot like after being there for 30 seconds. I mean, I'm sure you could rinse them with cool water, but honestly couldn't be easier. Kind of fun to do that too. I've pulled a few things out to decorate the kitchen for Christmas. I used to do a lot of things in this area and then I just kind of kept that up for a while. I do think I need to do something a little bit different with that pot holder. Maybe hang it lower. Um, I brought down this Christmas tree that was a crate and barrel find a few years ago. I saw it either online or in a catalog and I got it after Christmas on sale and I just love it. Um, these sparse trees are so nice because they really show off ornaments. Now I only have a few on there at the moment. Just these little copper colored kitchen utensils. The other thing that I really like about this tree and the, um, I have another tree that has a little sparkle in with the green. It just glistens, it looks like snow, and it lights up. So just a few little lights here and there. It's really nice at night with this on, it acts like a night light. I just have a, a few of the same things that I normally have out. I did bring out this tea towel and I've had it like this for a couple days. It's not that practical if I need the space, but it's been okay so far. I have our Christmas countdown, so the kids have been keeping up on that, and we just have the extra numbers there. This is something that I made with an OvenX tin. It's not the right amount, um, but we can fudge it. <laughs> it's like six across, it'd be perfect if it was seven. And then I have a few other things that I've added just to decorate this. I believe I even shared working on this in a craft video. This is a little ornament that I glued a magnet to. This is a little gingerbread clay piece that I made. That's Gorilla Glue on the back. I did not know Gorilla Glue expands. Well, I do now. And that, I didn't even glue them on. I think they're just two magnets. So it's always nice to be able to switch stuff up. And then this was a lottery game. I think it was called Lotto. I believe that's what it was. And I just glued magnets to the back. The green color's perfect, the numbers. So I've had that for a few years, kids like that. This Madeline pan, I think, is uh, magnetic. So you could easily do something like that with different tins. I think, I know that they sell magnet keychains, but that would be something smart to invest in. I've gone into the kitchen section, and I wanna know if these tins are magnetic or not, so I can make more things like this. I have these little pieces here. I would like to string these together for a garland. I dried them a while ago. I have not gotten to it, but I've stuck them in the bowl. And then I kind of liked this grouping together where it's just casual, um, but maybe told a little story of the season. So this is a Christmas cherries recipe. I have a few more too. Um, I've got the dried oranges. I like this Noel sign. I have, it's a little, ornament and I've tried it in the guest bed, I've tried it in the dining room, and I think this is its home right now. And a few little ornaments, so I could add some more things in there, but so far it's working. Down below I have this copper bin that I can put spaghetti squash, garlic, extra onions in. This holds seasonal shoes like flip-flops or sunscreen or you know just something to slip on real quick to go outside my husband's crocs are down low and this middle bin is decor for different seasons and some linens and i just pulled these in and put them there but i need to get into this and i don't know if i'll have space to put all the stuff out um okay that does not go there these are 
kitchen towels and aprons. And there's an apron that I could hang up. It's, yeah, there we go. Red and white. This is a Halloween apron that needs to just be folded up a, letter, a little bit better and go down. And then I've got some Christmas stuff. This tin holds cinnamon ornaments I made with my daughter when she was probably two or so. This box holds a lot of just memories that I love. So we've got the snowflake and it always smells so good when you open it. And this area gives me a very homespun feeling that nostalgic, homemade, cozy Christmas. I've put a few on there. And something I've been doing while I've been decorating, pulling things out is I have been walking around with a notepad. And when I can think of something that I need to do, or even a gift idea, or if I run out of something, I'm putting a note. I have this little like kitchen table salesman sample. I just want to put it all out. I just, I don't have the space. A little ornament and some red ones. So just a little sparkle for the tree. Ooh, and I might be lucky. There might be extras right there. Mm, maybe not that lucky. One extra and actually cut the um, cord off. And I think that might be the way to go with the others as well. I like that little bit of red, but it just seems to kind of hang nicer that way. I don't want to do too much. It's almost 10 o'clock. Dishwasher's on. Time to, time to hit the hay. But chocolate Christmas icebox cookies, eggnog from 1947 and an eggnog recipe that just has a little vintage feeling to it. Really like these handwritten ones on display. And I could do something uh, with a clip like that to keep it like that and then be able to display all that. Okay. This is almost looks like a card that would be put out to designate your seat at a dinner. Those just look like little Victorian Christmas people. Christmas pudding charms. Some more Christmas pudding charms. So you would bake those into the Christmas pudding. Oh, gingerbread bread men. How cute is that? I mean, who would think that if you're at an estate sale and you get these old recipes that besides like journaling and ephemera, but holiday decor. For now, I've just put it all in there. Oh, I think he is so cute. I think it's adorable. One year, um, I've always liked decorating this area, but I had a vintage like champagne bucket and I put a rosemary tree in it. Oh, I love that. But the, I do not get enough light in here and I didn't realize that the one side was totally dying like I should have been rotating it and I've just never had any success but I really liked that look and then I think I paired that because the champagne bucket was kind of elegant like a little tree topiary was elegant with a lot of my um, kitschy little sculptures so I could just tuck him in there for fun these were a gift from Dream Vintage with DJ, and I think they're absolutely adorable. I actually added them to my bowl. Oh my gosh, I think they're so cute. I've put them on wreaths before. I love them. And they're like um, almost like a stiff cardboard, but thin and just wrapped in some cotton. That almost looks like it's sharpied on and then just little dots. 
I think I fit as much as I can uh, and still giving myself a workspace. The hooks are switched out so now I can cross that off my list. And then I rearranged a few things, added an extra apron. So all I have to do is hang or string these oranges and that will be the kitchen. And I do like how cozy it is and that reflection. And something I did do down below is because I do have decor in there and all of those tea towels, I hung this one over the top. It displays the picture a little bit and it hides the decor that's in there. Something about decorating the kitchen makes me want to watch The Holiday. I think it's because I enjoy when uh, Cameron Diaz is shopping at the store and then coming home and the kitchen in her that little English cottage is so cute. Thanks for watching everyone and I will see you in another Christmas video. Bye!